Hi, I am Dr. Dharma Kumar KG, Consultant Surgical Oncologist at uh, Manipal Hospital, Sajapur Road, Bangalore. Today, I will be discussing about the lumps in uh, any part of the body. So, lumps can occur in any part of the body like face, neck, limbs are in the trunk and also it can occur in breast. So, uh, most of the lumps what we see in day to day practice are benign lumps. That means that they are not cancerous. Most of them it could be because of the infection or it could be because of the uh, benign tumors like lipomas or fibrolipomas or neurofibromas. So, usually these lumps if it is an infection, the lumps are very short living like one week to 10 days. If it is a benign tumors, these lumps will be there for months together or years together. So, they don't cause any harm to the human body. So, whereas if the lumps are short lived like two to three months duration, especially if they are painless, then we have to worry about the lumps, then we have to get evaluated for the chance of cancer by an oncosurgeon or oncologist. Say, uh, most commonly a lump occurs, especially in women, uh, is the breast. Uh, breast lumps uh, are usually painless and if the lump is associated with other symptoms like uh, if the lump is hard if there is a variation in the uh, size of the breast or if there is uh, any uh, swelling in the arm fit or if there is any skin change or if the nipple is retracted so these if a patient has any of these symptoms then we have to uh, evaluate it for the breast cancer then the patient get be evaluated and if uh, most of the time and especially in a 20 30 age group of females these lumps are uh, benign like fibroadenoma we don't don't need to worry about those lumps uh, it is uh, we don't require any surgical treatment for these lumps so other most common site of a lump is uh, it's in the neck so where uh, there is an enlargement of a cervical lymph nodes or uh, there may be a thyroid swelling or parotid swelling so neck swelling uh, like lymph nodes can be because of the infection if it is there enlarged and hard and fixed and if there is wound in the uh, mouth then we have to suspect about the cancer and if there is a thyroid swelling again there is a possibility of cancer especially if it is a recent onset in a male and if in especially in children then we have to uh, evaluate it for a cancer then lump can also occur in uh, limbs and trunk so most of these uh, swellings in the limbs and trunks are uh, benign swellings like lipomas and uh, neurofibromas. Uh, we don't need anything for them. They will have multiple swellings. Uh, if the lump is uh, uh, deep seated and hard and it is restricted movement, then we have to evaluate it for a, a chance of malignancy. So the take home message is not all the lumps are cancerous. So most of the lump what we see in day to day practice is benign lumps and it could be uh, infectious or benign tumors. So if there is any eye suspicious symptoms or sign as I explained, then we have to get evaluated by an oncologist or oncosurgeon for further uh, diagnosis and treatment. Thank you.